Hi, this is David Abbott of the Buffalo State College Physics Department again. This is the third in a series of videos for the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra on the physics of sound. In video two, you found out about the difference between how loud sounds look and how soft sounds look. What we're going to look at in this video is the difference between high sounds and low sounds. Musicians probably already know what I'm talking about, but for you non-musicians, here's what we're listening for. Here's what we call a low note. Uh, let me get a good hit so you can hear it better. So there's the low note. Here's a higher note. Hear the difference? For, musician, for the musicians out there, this was a middle C. This is the G above middle C. So we know how it sounds, what the difference in sound is between a low note and a high note. You know the next question, right? How are they going to look different? Here we have a time plot of both notes on the same set of axes. And we also have FFTs with both sounds shown on the same graph. Let's take a look at the oscilloscope graph first. There are two things to notice. There's slight differences in the height. We're going to ignore those. You know that from the previous video that height corresponds to volume. So you kind of figure if they're not exactly the same volume, these two are not exactly the same height. What's the major difference if I ignore the height? You'll notice that the spacing is different. The lower sound, the horizontal distance between peaks is much longer. That's because the waves happen less frequently. Remember that the horizontal distance on this graph is not distance, it's time. The higher note, the peaks happen more frequently. There's less time between one repetition and the next. Let's take a look at the FFT. You'll notice that they both have a single peak. There's one peak towards the right of the graph, that's the high frequency, and the one towards the left, the one closer to zero, is lower frequency. The high note is 384 hertz, and the low one is 256 hertz. This is the end of video, which hopefully has helped you understand the difference between how a low note and a high note looks on an oscilloscope graph and an FFT, and has helped you um, get some idea of how pitch looks.